Well, good morning, and today we're gonna to talk about air-cooled chimney pipes. Behind me on this two-story mountain log cabin, there is a large air-cooled chimney pipe. We know this for two reasons. We're doing a demo, and downstairs we looked up, and it's concentric nesting circles, one pipe inside the other, and we know it used to be a wood burner. But look up at the top. That is a banded high wind cap. Its job in life is to redirect bursts of air that come towards it. However, being an air-cooled pipe, it has two chambers. And underneath here, let's take a look. First time I've ever looked in here, that chimney cap is not even connected to that inner wall of pipe. And then there's an outer wall space. And now we'll take a fresh look down. It looks like the inner wall is completely gone. So someone has partially demoed this already. But this is a good uh, example of what not to do with an air-cooled system. You are not to put a plate across the double wall air-cooled system because you're blocking the natural airflow from the double wall systems. This is very, very incorrect, very unsafe per the original design of this air-cooled system to have done what they did. There are rookies around the world, around the country, our America country, uh, who do this kind of work on a regular basis. So when you're ordering a chimney cap, there are two kinds of caps, one for solid pack chimney, which you're allowed to do that termination plate because there's no airflow through the chimney pipe itself. And then there's air cooled, which is a dynamic airflow system. And if you block that airflow system, you're blocking the engineered heat resistant heat flow system. And you're gonna have a heated system potentially leading to a structure fire. So make sure you know what type of chimney system you're working on for solid fuel burning appliances and make sure you use the correct chimney cap or you could overheat the system.